everybody, Nick from Rich and Sons here uh, with a camping tip. Uh, today we're going to talk about dumping your fresh water tank before you leave the campground. Um, I would always do that. I would never recommend driving home with water in your tank. Um, it's just going to cause all sorts of problems or costs down the road, literally, or on the road. Um, uh, even just in the last month or so, I had a customer that um, was driving in Montana and hit a bunch of bumps on the highway, I guess, that they were working on and they didn't have their freshwater tank drained and their tank fell out. So um, it's definitely something important to do. It's a lot more weight and you get that sloshing going around and it's just gonna make that tank wanna pop off. So um, the first thing you guys wanna do um, when you empty your freshwater tank is make sure your hot water heater is turned off. So we'll just go into this hideout here that we have. Um, should be very similar on your campers, but you got your, your buttons here for your water heater. So just make sure those are turned off. Um, and then also some of your water heaters are going to have a switch on the uh, actual water heater uh, outside. This one doesn't, but if you do, make sure that that switch is off too. Um, with that in mind, make sure that water is cooled down to room temperature before you start doing any of the draining. So while we're inside, you're going to want to make sure all of your faucets are open. So just open up turn all your faucets on make sure you get the one in the bathroom and then also you want to make sure even your outdoor shower make sure you turn those faucets on too so you're going to want to get all that water out of those lines um, we're going to go out back outside here so you have a couple drains on the outside um, you're going to want to make sure that you open up i think it's over here on this one yes if you can get reached down here you got your low point drains here for hot and cold just make sure those are opened up um, again you're going to get those lines going through and then you're also going to have your low point drain for your or your tank drain on this one it's right here so make sure that's popped open um, so we've already opened the faucets next thing you want to do is flush your toilet a few times before there's none of that water running through just to make sure that that line's cleaned out too the last thing you want to do is just whether you have an anode rod or just a cap just make sure you get that unscrewed too because that's going to make sure that the water is coming out of your tank so um, pretty simple as that if you do have a, a water heater bypass and it's getting you know you don't plan on using your your camper for a while you can get in there too and uh, hit that also so that'll help keep the water from going back in the tank but if you have this open if you do have any go in there it should hopefully leak out too but and you can just leave the anode rod out when you're driving but um, pretty simple process um, it's not very hard to do but you just want to make sure you remember to do it so that is the camping tip how to empty your fresh tank